What's up guys, this is your daily Twin Flame reading. Um, today is September 7th. It's the day that I'm reading the energy, not necessarily the day that you resonate with it. I have a drink of coffee, and I don't know why I'm yawning. I am so sorry if I made you, if I make you yawn from what my yawn. Anyway, so we're just going to pull some cards to check the energy. We know that things are about to transform. Today on my energy reading for Instagram for, you know, I do an Instagram, um, an Instagram energy reading as well. Not necessarily Twin Flame, but I got a lot of balanced energy in it as well. And um, so basically it was saying that a lot of things are about to start. And we know that because new beginnings we're expecting this month. Um, Mid- September towards the end, you know, from September to October, we're expecting many things to manifest and new beginnings to manifest in our lives and things to transform. So it's, you know, that makes sense that the reading today for my Instagram, and I might show you guys here, um, that things are about to start transforming. So let's see what we get the overall energy for the twin flame reading. This reading was brought to you by, sometimes I'll advertise other people's stuff. Of course, my readings are brought to you by my brand, Gym Body TMC, my Hoodie Crew T Fitness Apparel line. Click the link in the description if you want to support that. Um, if you want to work out with a crew of hoodie, work out in a Gym Body TMC hoodie because the movement and the merit that continues through me and you, following our goals and dreams and balancing our mind, body, and spirit. Anyway, um, I also have one. I am the truth is what it says. This is T by... Um, Vitality12, Vitality XII on Instagram. It's really dope, and support her. She's been trying over the years with businesses, and um, you won't regret it. It's a nice tea. Anyway, so I want to pull a energy from the overall energy period for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, and then I'm going to pull cards. But I think I should show you guys the video. I'll add it to the end of this video, the daily energy reading from Instagram that I posted on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I think the world tried to come out. Here's the sun here. Um, trying to come out. So the world, we know that it's new beginnings, it's endings, it's changes, it's transformation. What is this? Oh, masculine man holding the coin. So we'll take that as the overall energy. And the world still came out. What is this? Oh. I'll show you what I saw. Woman holding the heart. <laughs> 43 and 44 came out and these are all mixed in they're not in order so the fact that 43 and 44 came out that's interesting so we have progress for progress with 43 and 44 coming out but we also have seven the number of spiritual completion so we're completing cycles um and we have eight resurrection um new beginnings so with the Spiritual completion with seven and then eight right next to each other. We have ourselves completing cycles and then resurrecting, meaning starting new beginnings that are much better than before. The fact that we have masculine and feminine energy here. We have a male, a man holding a coin and a woman holding a heart. So it's like manifesting blessings as it pertains to the masculine energy, but also man manifesting feminine energy as well and bringing the two together and everything... Um, going as planned so overall energy is super positive we have the world on the bottom of the deck which is 11 we got 7 11 interesting 7 8 and 11 anyway we have um master number 11 is the first master number it's more spiritual um seven is spiritual completion but 11 is like enlightenment it's the enlightened ones it's the um ascended masters it's like the number like of, of awakening so it's like awakening to this new life together in union with masculine and feminine energy after a spiritual completion and new beginnings resurrection interesting 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 what's under there strategy Ooh. Oh, man. Twos and ones is union and initiative coming together. So taking an initiative to bring things together. So lots and lots and lots of good energy so far for the masculine and feminine. So I'm just going to pull some cards. Um, I'm dropping stuff. I need to get my stuff in order. <laughs> I'm going to pull some cards for the masculine first. And then let me save this, though. And then I'm going to pull some cards for the feminine. 
Okay, so we're going to start with our um, Universal Tarot deck. And we're going to pull some cards. The Divine Mass. Healing. Use, too. So I absorb energy and I cannot, I, I, I don't allow myself to be around certain energy. So if you're negative, I can't be around you too long because I'll be fighting off negativity because I'm an empath. Um, and I can feel that energy. But also, I kind of like absorb behaviors as well in dialect and activities of those around me as well. So if I have someone in my life who curse a lot, then inherently I'll start to curse. Or if they speak in a certain way, I'll start to speak in that way. So, you know, I usually pour, my, pour into myself with inspirational stuff and it gives me inspiration if I'm like amused. But with these tarot videos, I have to be careful who I subscribe to. And not only that, I subscribe to quite a few, but be careful who I watch because then I'll start, you know, there sometimes their um, interpretations, they'll sink in and I, you know, I'm not, um, I don't always agree. So yeah, I gotta be careful with that. I don't mind looking at it from different perspectives, but that was so random. I just gotta be careful who I align myself with because I'll start absorbing their stuff. That's why I like sometimes I say masculine when Tarot Prophecy says that, but you know, I don't talk like that. It's just weird. It's just how I am. Um, but yeah, I don't always agree with what they're saying, so I have to be careful with what I'm watching. So anyway, Spirit, let's come together with a message to the collective for the Twin Flame Collective and for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. But we're starting off with the Divine Masculine. We ask that this message resonates. Be clear. Um, speaking of clarity, we have the King of Swords. <coughs> clear and, and actionable. I love that word. When I was in, um, in the bottom of the deck, I, so when I pull, I let the card fall out and then I pull the bottom of the deck kind of to give an overall energy of each card. Anyway, what I was about to say, when I was working for the federal government, they had this word actionable, actionable. What's your plan? Is it actionable? <laughs> so sometimes I say actionable, speaking of being around people and absorbing their energy and actions. Anyway, so the masculine... Um, is in the decision phase. So there is this King of Swords gaining insight and clarity into a situation and making a very clear decision. I'm also getting strategic, but getting a very clear decision as to like who he or she wants to be with. But the thing about it is multiple people involved. So it could be making a decision on which one to choose or making a decision to fight for somebody who... Um, has multiple options. So let's keep going. Masculine. Interesting. Clarity. Clear decision. That don't sound like the masculine since men <laughs> in our meetings. That fell out. Ooh. You know what? A change happened. And that change is leading to family. So we have 10, the number of completion. Ooh, and okay, five, also the number of chains, five, the number of God's grace. So sometimes when you lose something, that you know, five, the number, when you lose something, five of pentacles is like loss or lack. Sometimes it's really God's grace leading you to a better life, to better choices or to a better time, ridding you of baggage, ridding you of karmates, ridding you of codependencies and things that no longer serve your purpose. So the reason why the masculine is now making this decision is because it's a lack in emotional fulfillment as it pertains to family. So he's not fulfilled as a, he or she is not fulfilled as it pertains to family life. So they're making the decision. He or she's making a decision to pursue someone. We'll just say someone. We'll say someone until we figure out who it is. Because these masculines pursue karmics. Stayed in karmic relationships. We all had our time period where we were in a karmic relationship. No shade, for real. Then, they pursue people who are not the karmic or the feminine. So, it's like passerbys. I call those people feelings. So, they pursue the feeling for a while, too. So, now, they have a lack of emotional fulfillment that the karma could not feel and the feelings could not feel. So, now, it's the decision being made to pursue someone. 
And we'll say we'll still say someone unless the feminine shows up in this reading. We'll know it's the feminine. But for now, it's a someone. I'm right, masculine, whatever. It's your life. You know, I ain't tripping no more. None of it. You just gotta do you. Something fail. Interesting. Interesting. Two of Cups and Three of Pentacles. Hmm, what energy is this? It was the Two of Cups that came out, and the clarifier was the Three of Pentacles. <coughs> sorry, guys. Really sorry. This bug is almost out. Um, so after this, I'll say this, this progress. So with this Two of Cups and this Three of Pentacles, it's looking like, um... A partnership. Son, do you need me? Make you some pancakes? Yeah. Sure. Give me a, a few minutes. So with these two of cups and these three of pentacles, it's like partnerships, like a soulmate partnership. Love. True love. I'm getting true love. Divinely lit. Because sometimes the three of pentacles could be like support from someone older and younger and coming together showing support. But sometimes it's divine. I, I read this card sometimes it's like divine influence and intervention and um, leadership. So a divine partnership, a soulmate, twin flame connection, true love. Pursuing divinely led true love. So this could be the feminine. We'll still say could be. But it's like. Wanting to come together with true love that's led by the divine. Not wanting to just choose anyone anymore. Wanting this connection to be divinely guided and led and brought together. Wanting someone that resonates with their spirit, resonates with their soul, resonates with who they are. And then on this card, we have blue and red representing spirit, emotions, and representing um, masculine as well. So it's like a connection of like yin yang i'm getting connection so yeah could be the feminine yeah so oh child masculine masculine what is this i'll take it okay seven of wands in the sun interesting There's a fight with the seven of wands. Sometimes I get the energy of fighting for something. Sometimes I get the energy of <clears throat> victory, but not necessarily like preventing something to be from being taken away. So wanting this connection to manifest with the sun here, wanting to bring it to light, wanting it ready for better times, for sunnier, happier times, wanting it to manifest and fighting for it. So there may be a fight involved for the masculine. Of course, it starts with competition and ends with, and not ends. And then here we have the seven of wands and the sun. So it's like wanting this to manifest and fighting for it. Ready to actually fight. Again, like the masculine, something that's falling out, ran for so long. And now it's like, it's time for them to fight. Right. And action turns into action. That's right. Literally, when stuff fall out while I'm talking, it's crazy. I was just saying how the masculines haven't been running. They haven't been putting in the work required to manifest this partnership. So, <clears throat> page of wands and eight of uh, pinnacles, it's actions, inaction turns into actions, ready to invest and put in the work to manifest this partnership. So masculine is getting an actual masculine energy and putting in the required effort to manifest this partnership with the feminine. Or with this true love, this divinely led love, this soulmate, divinely led twin flame possible relationship. Cool. Okay. I guess fighting, you fighting off. I guess this masculine, high priestess is trying to come out. This masculine is ready to fight off competition. What is going on? Come on now. And that was the king of wands trying to come out. I'm not taking it though. It's going to have to come out. There we go. <coughs> Two came. Okay. Oh, and the, and the bottom is, and I'm gonna just stop here. I'm gonna end it here. So, uh, bottom of the gut, hanged man, looking at things from a different perspective, and right under there, ten of wands, carrying the responsibility and, and burden, seeing it from a different perspective, ready for a breakthrough, getting mental clarity, 
as things change with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, bottom of that, cool. But anyway, <clears throat> interesting combination. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. So wanting things to go off without a hitch for um, the Three of Wands is also having the will to begin again. It's like ready to begin again. Um, because this connection brings emotional fulfillment. <coughs> so as this connection manifests, I'm wanting to bring this union together. And the reason why I'm saying wanting is because the hangman is at the bottom of the deck, meaning this is the planning phase. This is thinking. This is not, um, this is what he or she is thinking. But anyway, it's one of the things to go off without a hitch, planning the future, um, emotional fulfillment. When you come together with this partner with their partner things coming together for the masculine is what the masculine wants so he or she is willing to fight for this because why it gives you emotional fulfillment and you're ready to take it to the next level with the feminine or with this divine body led love and we have <clears throat> you know a lack of fulfillment in his or her life right now ready to change that to fulfillment and overflow of love and connection and emotions and Make it something tangible. Make, manifest it in physical reality. And possibly, you know, uh, take it to the next level. It could be like actual marriage too. All right. Being inspired in action turns into action. I think that's what I'll name. DM in action turns into action. I think that's what I'll say for the divine masculine for this reading. So let's move these cards over as we take a look at the feminine. I like to leave the cards out because sometimes I compare them like, okay, well, masculine is doing this, this is what feminine is doing. <coughs> Child, I ain't been, I had, oh, wrong with that. <coughs> I'll use this for feminine. I haven't been under the weather in so long. We'll use the Monday, Mystic Monday tarot deck. For the Divine Feminine. Save my progress. And drink some coffee. <laughs> Trying to get my voice. <laughs> you know what? I felt like I was getting better today. <clears throat> but I'm still coughing. And I still have this stuff in my throat. Anyway. I'm praying for full recovery, restoration. Better than I was before. Alright. Let's check on the... Divine Feminine Spirit of the Lord together with a message that resonates with something trying to come already. For the Divine Feminine. I told y'all something was trying to come. What do we have here? The Ace of Cups. Each time. Yesterday this did that as well. The card that ended for the masculine began with the feminine. So these energies are very connected. Sorry guys. These energies are connected, very much so. Their spirits are already connected. So it would make sense that their energies are all also connected. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I don't my car is just nasty vibes. Anyway, so we have the Ace of Cups for the first card for the Feminine, as well as the Queen of Cups. That was reversed, but um, I got a card, the deck upside down, so... <laughs> I'm not taking, I don't see that as, um, let's see. All right, so let's take it upside down because it was there. It was like that. So this is the feminine. Wanting emotional fulfillment but not having it. With the Ace of Cups, it's like wanting this connection. Wanting emotional fulfillment. Wanting, you know, your cups run up over with love. But with the Queen of Cups in reverse, it's not, the Queen of Cups isn't feeling it. The Queen of Cups is your dreamy and emotional and <coughs> <coughs> I feel like, you know, the love and the energy and the aspirations that the, the feminine had before, maybe that, that's kind of diminishing. So while, you know, the feminine wants emotional fulfillment and happiness in the cup of emotions to run it over, the queen of cups is like, it hasn't happened in so long, you lose that dreamy 
aspiration. You lose that, those dreams you have for the masculine. And I resonate with that. I mean, for real. I mean, really, if I look at how I used to. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> how I used to view this connection and how I view it now. I fully resonate with Ace of Cups and Queen of Cups in reverse because it's like <clears throat> we've been wanting it for years. We've been on this journey was not started yesterday. I've been on this journey for a very long time. And then when things don't manifest as quickly as we want them to, sometimes you lose some some of that dreamy energy, aspirational energy. Sometimes you lose it. So I feel like the feminine <coughs> once <clears throat> to gain that energy back sorry guys wants to be emotionally fulfilled <clears throat> but kind of like lost some of that vibe uh, if I keep coughing like this I'm supposed to go up to my store today take down the sign front and I am going to do it I'll figure it out <coughs> take the sign down I have to scrape it off with the previous business owner's name and put mine. <clears throat> but I'm just scraping it off today, but man, whatever this bug is, gotta go. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> oh, that hurts so bad. Okay, Spirit, help me do this. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> what? Something tried to come. Okay, lots are trying to come. I'll take these two. So, <clears throat> look at that beautiful heart. The Three of Cups, the world, <coughs> and the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> Ooh, I almost dropped this whole deck. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to continue <clears throat> to be consistent with these videos. So I didn't want to let this illness keep me off my sweat. But let's talk about this. We have, first let's talk about, well, let's talk about it together. So we have Three of Cups, the World, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, the Three of Cups, again, we know that the feminine will have multiple options. It's right in alignment with this competition energy that the masculine has in his card, in his or her cards. <clears throat> so, it's like multiple options manifesting at the same time, ready to enter a new phase of life with the feminine, ready to go full, you know, it's like a full circle. Multiple options for the feminine now manifesting. You know, ready to enter this next, next phase of life with the feminine. Again, that's probably why the feminine is like I'm not putting energy into it. Hold on. Ooh, I feel that's a little better. <laughs> so anyway, these multiple options. Ready to enter the next phase of life with the feminine. Ready to, to you know, be in the feminine's world. We know that's going to happen. So it's like the feminine is... Again, I'm not investing in it, but let's keep pulling because maybe it'll be different today. But we know this Three of Cups energy used to be heavily on the masculine. Masculine had multiple options. Now, full circle, feminine has multiple options. And if I'm talking loud, I'm sorry. This illness is kind of this bug claws my ears, too. So, you know, like being in an airplane, your ears get clogged. That's what it feels like. <laughs> what was that? Ooh, okay. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, so we have Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Three of Swords. So... I'm getting multiple, that's multiple women. 
Is that what that same spirit? <coughs> mm. Okay. So what I'm getting from here is like, maybe it's the feminine not really embracing this opportunity with these multiple offers because <clears throat> there were other women involved and it broke it disappointed sorry guys hold on okay so <clears throat> previously there was some disappointment or heartbreak involved because again while we're full circle now and the feminine is getting multiple offers now back then it was masculine energies with multiple offers so feminine is like <clears throat> it's almost like back then you didn't want me now I'm hot. they all want me kind of energy but it's like <clears throat> but it's like I'm not sure I'm over what I've been through in the past I'm not sure I'm over like I didn't fight it's these are they, they're not fighting each other these women because it's like the Queen of Swords is like, I'm not fighting you. Like, call it a truce. So it's like, you made your decision. I didn't fight your decision in the past. So live with that decision. You decided to be with so and so. <coughs> Sorry that you're not emotionally fulfilled now, but you made the decision to be with someone else. Continue with, and I was disappointed when you made that decision. I lived through that disappointment. I grew. I let go. I let God. And now you're coming back. So what I'm getting is feminine is like, you can live with that decision. And this may be to multiple people. Feminine may be saying this to multiple people. Because maybe the feminine was rejected multiple times. But it's like, you can I'm telling the masculine to live with the decision that was previously made. You wanted to be with who you thought was attractive then. You wanted to be with whoever then. I didn't fight your decision. I let you do you. Now you're not emotionally fulfilled and you're trying to come back to me? No thanks. I'm not investing my energy into that. You had your chance with me and you didn't take it. So now live with your decision. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting from the energy. Oh, guys. I might have to go to the doctor. You know, I've been... I just... Sometimes I try to let these illnesses go, you know, through my system and come out on their own. But I think I'm going to need some help. Ooh, child, that fell out. Somebody mad at me? Yep. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll end it here, but we have the Hermit and we have the Nine of Pentacles, singular energy. It's like, you know, 99, I think, is also ble a blessed number. The new, the Gematria for 99, <coughs> <coughs> it's like double blessings. Ooh, child, I heard it. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, child. Ooh, I gotta get medicine. Quit. I'm done playing with this shit. Ooh. <clears throat> 99. Also, a number for blessings, but the feminine deciding to be single. Um, It's like, I felt isolated before. I'm abundant now. My life isn't going well. I'm gonna leave it like that. But also, if you pay attention, the bottom of the deck is Nine of Swords. Then we have the Hermit, which is the ninth major arcana, and the Nine of Pentacles. Here, 999 is the number of perseverance. So deciding to persevere through the loneliness, deciding to persevere through being single until you find the one that's right for you. And that's the energy that I'm getting from the feminine. Deciding to be alone, deciding to not be lonely, but single. Again, you went from being isolated and lonely to just being single. <clears throat> There's a difference between isolating and lonely and being single. As you can see, I, the hermit being isolated and lonely is kind of naked, kind of <coughs> energy of 
you know, <clears throat> isolation. But Nine of Pentacles is more singular, but abundantly single. Enjoying it. Enjoying the fruits of her labor, the feminine's labor, labor. Enjoying life, but in a single way. Knight of Swords, we know that it's kind of like anxiety type energy, but cuddling yourself, not knowing what to do. But feminine, don't, 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 don't even play yourself. Another 99 on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Wands and Nine of Swords. Abundantly blessed, but also perseverance. Persevering through the season. The Six of Pentacles wanted to show itself until you find someone who's willing to give you equal give and take. You deserve that. We all deserve equal give and take. We deserve to have a partner to match us, to match our vibe, to match our energy, to give and receive both ways. And feminine, you deserve that. Now leave it here because I don't want to keep coughing on this video. So anyway, interesting. Interesting, the overall energy. Completing cycles, men holding the heart, I mean, holding the coin, women holding the heart. Protect your heart, feminine. Protect it. Dope reading, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, share, share. Help me to get exposure. Pray for my illness. Support me in my gym body hoodie sales. And I'll also put where I got this tea from. It's really dope. I wish you all love. I wish you all light. And I wish you more life. Peace. Oh, yeah. So, at the end of this video, I'll show you guys energy reading I did today. Watch it if you like. Again, peace. Thank you for watching. Please help me meet my 60 order goal for this week for Gym Body TMC Gym Hoodies that help you work out and get a better workout in the gym. That website is gymbodytmc.com. Thank you. What's up, guys? This is your daily energy reading. Super dope energy we have today. Um, overall energy. Things are ending. We have the Ten of Swords signifying new beginnings are on the horizon. And that other things are ending. For some, it may not be easy. But for others, this ending may have already happened. Like, things have already started ending for you. So now it's just time for new beginnings and embracing this new beginning you have. But for others, you may be going through some things that are ending right now. And it may be hurtful. But know that it's opening the door for new beginnings. We have the Death card and the Ten of Pentacles as the first card combination. This is so beautiful, guys. Like, listen. This is transformation. This is entering a new phase of life. It's upgrading. It's like things are ending so that you can upgrade. Um, look at the 10 of, first of all, let's talk about the money. Incre an increase in money, an increase in wealth, an increase of status. Let's talk about um, blue and red. Um, manifesting things from the spirit realm to the physical realm. So this is things manifesting for you. This is being transformed as a person. This is your life being transformed and entering better times, entering um, more abundant and better times and a new phase of life that's better than what has been. And as clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So you're just saying with the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune combination, like chill, like... <laughs> Things are manifesting, like fortunate things are manifesting for you. Remain humble, remain balanced with your masculine and feminine energies or your mind, body, and spirit. Remain balanced and one with yourself and one with spirit, one with God. And know that these fortunate changes are coming and it's based on you being able to balance your life and follow spiritual paths, but also put in the practical work, hard work it requires to do so. But now, September is going to be so not only, you know, prolific, but manifesting these different facets of yourself or manifesting several different things at one time. And it's all due to, like, it's all fortunate things, though. And 1010 is more life. So it's like this more life we've been pursuing spiritually, it's physically manifesting. So it's entering the next phase of life that's that's dope. Then we have temperance and the lovers. 
both of these, so three cards in a row are about balance. King of Cups, Temperance, and the Lovers. This is balance. Um, so balance has two facets. So as it pertains to feminine and masculine energy, yin-yang, Taoism, it's like balance is your spirit and your material. This is our material. Our body is like manifested God on earth manifested spirit so we have your spirit and your body coming together as one with the creator as in the father son and the holy spirit or you know those are all masculine terms but it's not really male but it's like being one with the creator being one with your spirit self you know like looking in the mirror and also being one with god at the same time anyway um coming one with that and because of that you're blessed but also because of that you attract your partner it's like adam and eve coming back together as one again you know this energy coming back together as one with god so we have the temperance the lover signifying balance and union with the dualities of yourself which is what brought upon these blessings in the first place so remain solid remain at peace remain calm remain you know patient remain understanding remain in pathetic but remain one with yourself and god in um as an example of the vessel of god on earth and things are working out for you because of that we have fortunate changes new phase of life transformation and it's going to happen very quickly so don't fold i think with these three cards being balanced here as well as sound don't fold when all of this manifests because it's going to come at you quick and you're going to feel like you need to take up and fight for yourself or fight for your life but this is more life manifesting for you so remember that. So remain humble. Remain at peace. Remain balanced. And everything will work out as it should. We have 10 here. We have 10 here. We have 10 here. Like, And I saw the judgment card, which was two tens. So know that you're about to receive on exponential levels and life is about to get lit. Thank you for watching. This reading was brought to you by my gym buddy, um, Lime. Um, but also, I won this shirt from my cousin. It says, I am the truth. And um, it's pretty dope. So I, I'm going to tag her in this video. And I encourage you guys to look at her website as well. Because this is really dope. And it's, inspira it's inspirational. And um, I highly recommend it as well. So Gym Body Times Vitality 12. XII. I'll definitely tag her in this post. Anyway, guys. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more light. Have a great weekend.